Episode 4 of The Believers starts with Tang telling Win and Game about a politician willing to sponsor the temple for the ordination of 16 new monks, including Tang's friends. The abbot's health starts deteriorating, and Ekichai takes a more active role in running the temple. Consequently, Game heads to the lawyer's office to deposit their first repayment installment. The lawyer does not cause any trouble, but warns him about being late on the next installment and coming up short. The receipt handed to Game shows that they have over 45 million baht loan balance. Everything continues to run smoothly at the temple, and Monk Dole is teaching students. After the sermon, a boy is sent back to ask for a signature from Monk Dole. He mentions that Deer is very pretty and asks if he has a boyfriend. The boy then asks the monk what he thinks of Deer, and he just smiles and seems annoyed when Note hysterically runs into the sermon hall and calls out Deer to handle something outside. Tang's friends start a fight with the other monks about Tang giving them more chances to correct merits. The other monks complain that although Tang's friends are getting more chances, they do not know the chance and are fake monks. The friends start throwing punches for being called fake monks, and Deer, Game, and Win are caught amid blows when they try to stop the fight. Fortunately, Ekachai shows up in time and takes control of the situation. In addition, he drafts new rules and regulations to be followed by the monks and a timetable for evening requests. Moreover, Ekachai continues to take more interest in the temple operations, especially the funds. He starts to connect with Game since he is in charge of heaping Tang with the books of accounts. He asks Game to bring him any document that needs signing instead of the abbot. Later that night, Tang's friends complained about the new rules in the temple and Ekachai's strictness, which made it harder for them to escape. They hand over Tang's share of the money, and he tells them to keep a low profile. Next, the temple helps a family with a funeral arrangement when unknown bikers cause a commotion inside the temple grounds and fire threatening shots before driving off. The commotion disturbs the event, and when the team checks the CCTV cameras, they see a group of notorious bikers vandalizing the temple and looting it. Ekachai thinks the attack might be because the temple has started gaining more attention and the neighboring temples might have an issue. Ekachai directs the tram to host the rest of the days remaining for the funeral free of charge as an apology to the bereaved family and asks Game to take care of it. He also asks them to ask the police to set up a checkpoint at the temple gates so as not to tarnish the temple's image. Later, Game asks Ekachai why he thought another temple might be displeased, and he tells him about the politician who was previously sponsoring the Manithong temple and chose to sponsor their temple instead. Game decides to take matters into his own hands and uses a group of gamers in a cyber cafe to spread hate and malicious posts about the abbot at Mani Thong Temple. The social media posts about Abbot Flood wins phone during a podcast shooting with Monk Dole. He distracts the session, making Deer ask the abbot to start over a few times, but they can complete the shooting when Wynn excuses himself. At the end of the filming, Deer asks Monk Dole if they could include a question and answer segment at the end of the next podcast episode, and Monk Dole wants to know the types of questions the audience might ask. While Deer wants to look through the comments to get an example, Monk Dole insists that she asks a question she wants an answer to, and Deer asks about love and suffering. Monk Dole is pleased by her question and is preparing to answer, but Wynn interrupts them to show Deer the social media posts about the abbot at Mani Thong Temple. Monk Dole does not look pleased by the interruption. The scandal at Mani Thong Temple happens at the start of the Buddhist Lent, and the entrepreneurs benefited from it since many believers chose to go to their temple. After one of his sermons, Monk Dole takes the opportunity when he and Deer are alone to answer a question about love and suffering. In his view, when people love, they should not hold on to the ones they love so tightly, but should understand that love is not permanent, and they should avoid suffering when it ends. Deer asks him if he has ever been in love, but he does not answer. He changes the discussion to say he will only stay at the temple briefly. The abbot from Mani Thang Temple arrives, and Game starts looking for Tang. 
He runs to wait outside the abbot's house, and Ekechai joins them when the assistant from Mani Thong tells him to wait outside for the elders to finish their talk. The rest of the team arrives just as the Mani Thang abbot leaves, and the temple abbot calls them in for a meeting. He tells them the Mani Thang abbot wants them to stop holding events and stick to merits and offerings. Tang asks Ekechai to excuse them as they talk, and we learn that the abbot knows about their business. Wen asks if he wants a bigger share. However, the abbot insists that they need to follow the orders since they come from a superior, and he might lead to the closure of the temple if he fails to adhere. The entrepreneurs are left stranded since they still have so much debt to pay, and the amount they have collected so far is insufficient to cover the next installment. Game confesses that he was involved in the scandal that tarnished the Mani Thong Temple. Deer is angry about it but Wen believes that regardless, someone would still come to threaten them. Game suggests paying the abbot to quit Monkhood, but Wen knows he will not agree to make a deal. At the end of the episode, Ekachai is making his rounds after another eventful night after putting the ailing abbot to sleep when he hears a sound coming from the abbot's residence. He goes in to investigate, and we see Wen standing over the abbot, who is motionless and lying on the floor. The Episode Review the episode introduces a new challenge to our entrepreneurs who must deal with aggressive competition's negative impacts. Their competitor from the Mani Thang Temple does not intend to play fair, and he holds more power over them, making the endeavor even more challenging. While Game tried to change the situation using underhand methods, the abbot from Mani Thong used his power over their temple abbot to stop their operations, threatening their earnings and ability to repay the loans. Monk Dole continues to confuse us as he makes it difficult to understand his intentions. Is he growing fond of Deer? Is the schoolboy asking if he thought Deer was pretty an attempt to make the audience read between the lines? Is Ekachai aware that the business is running behind the scenes? At the end, we see Wen standing over the abbot, who has collapsed on the floor. In the next episode, we will discover what happened to the abbot and its impact on the temple business.